Hi, hi, Tower Blast fans. It is Melinda here with you today, and I am sharing my take on the August challenge, which is this page here about to come up. Um, I decided to use my colour sprays, and I ran with a rainbow of colours. So I've got this piece of bubble wrap that's about 12 by 12, and I've grabbed my, as I said, my rainbow of colour sprays. Um, all of the links are included in the blog post, but the colours that I'm using, the red is love, and then the orange is sunset, yellow is saffron, rainforest is green, lagoon is the blue, indigo is indigo, and violet is obviously violet. Um, anyone that knows me knows I'm not a fan of purple, but my family had a little bit of a had a couple of things to say I said to my husband should I include purple on my rainbow and he went yes it's a rainbow use purple and then my son heard the word rainbow and went oh mum what are you going to scrapbook can you scrapbook a photo of me so um he chose out these three photos of himself when he was about two and a bit I think um they're not very good quality photos but it's what I have it was actually quite hilarious watching my husband throw him in the air and listening to his giggle so it terrified me to no end as an as a fairly new mum um but yeah I just I thought that it was a funny story to tell and he just he loved it he loved every single second that he was doing this with his dad so um a fun page to put in his album I have backed the three photos with some tissue paper and the one of him where he appears to be flying I've added some uh, foam tape to and you can see that I just um, I flipped my cardstock onto the bubble wrap to get my stamped impression and I love how that looks I've left that to air dry while I backed my photos with the tissue paper um, and because there wasn't a lot of water added it didn't take very long to dry at all decided I wanted to do some stamping and I thought black was a bit too harsh so I've got my two different grey archival inks here um, one as you can see is darker than the other and I started with the lighter one but you really couldn't see it so I ended up coming with the darker one I am stamping off as well and uh, first I'm using this texture stamp from Kaiser and it's film strip I think uh, and then I'm going to pull out another Stamp. I think I picked this up second hand from somewhere um, and I'm going to use so I used the diamond very recently on my art journal page but I'm going to use the big cross sign and also some arrows so I'm using the lighter grey to add in the detail of the cross and again stamping off to get the two different shades of the light grey and then the arrows with the darker grey so I decided I wanted to get, like, have a focus on the flying baby, and so I'm just doing some arrows so it's really obvious where I want you to look. And you'll see in a second, I wanted a bit of a lighter shade of that colour, so I've just stamped behind where my photos are going. And I've given that a quick dry with my heat tool. I just showed you a stencil I'm going to use thought I'd run with the triangle since I've already got the circles in the background. This is a seven dots stencil and I love it. I'm using my Snow White colour paste because I wanted the shimmer but I didn't want the colour as such. You can see as I apply it here it goes on um, white but it does dry clear and you can see all of the details through the paste which is one of the things I love about this. Uh, but this paste is so beautiful and shimmery. Um, you can see it in some of the close-ups. It looks amazing. I love it. There you go. I'm just showing you that. I think that's... Oh, I think that... Yeah, that's in its dry form. Yes. So time for a little bit of embellishing. I picked up this little cheap pack of veneer from Coco Vanilla Studio at the expo and so I decided I was going to use some of the pieces from it and I decided that I wanted to go colour on colour with my embellishments. Not sure where I've disappeared to. 
I'm getting my title. So I wanted to run with something that wasn't massive for my title, but I've gone with, um, I, I knew I wanted to call this layout Flying Baby. And I've got these white foam alphas. I'm just gonna pop them on there to make moving them around the page and coloring them up a bit easier. I did decide that I wanted to add a bit of color. So here you can see, I'm just grabbing my Copics. I've just grabbed some of my C, which is the cool grays. And I'm just going to do an ombre effect on these. This is super quick, super simple. If you have some Copics and some foam alphas and you want to change the color, this is a super quick, easy way to do it. Um, I've just blended out each color on top of the next. And I really love that neutral there. It, yeah, just I think it balances it nicely. So I've decided I'm going to color my veneer and I'm just using three of the same colors that I used for my rainbow. So that the word love is done in the love color spray. The word hello is done in the lagoon and then the happy is done in indigo. Now that indigo can change colors. It's really quite interesting. You'll notice on the stamping on the background, it looks quite like a dark blue more than a purple, but here it looks more of a purple. So I think it depends on what you apply it to and what it's next to. I think if you put it onto a page of all blues, it would look bluer. And if you put it next to a purple, it would look purpler. Um, so I'm just using some embossing ink to get these, uh, to get these all sticky so that I can add my embossing powder. And of course I am using the Color Blast Snow White embossing powder again. I didn't want to lose the color, so I'm just using the Snow White to get the shiny, pretty, glittery embossed look. I've done two coats, and here is a quick close up. You can see how they shine, it's beautiful. Just popping that back where they go. Be warned if you do use the Snow White, you will have glitter everywhere, absolutely everywhere. But that's okay, I don't mind. Um, at this point, I decided I wanted to mount this cardstock on a pattern paper and I didn't really want to take much off the right hand side because I knew I didn't have much room. So I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off the top and the bottom and then half an inch off the left and just a really thin sliver off the right. I didn't want my lines to be perfectly straight, so I grabbed my scissors out and I've intentionally made the lines a bit wonky. This is the page that I am going to mount my layer onto. It is a Paige Evans one of, from one of her collections, I can't remember which one. Um, the purple had me really unsure of if I was going to use this side, but I thought, you know what, I'm embracing the rainbow, I may as well embrace the rainbow and I think it just gives the page that little bit extra. So I'm just going to glue that down and surprisingly I got it in the right spot the first time. It never happens so yay. I'm going to ruffle up all the edges and I'm, I'm being, I'm not being careful at all. Rolling it with my fingers, scuffing it up with my nails and just making it a bit messier. really happy with how this page came together. I love the rainbow and yeah, it just looks so good. I decided I wanted to bring a bit more of that neutral in with the gray thread. I have pulled out three other colors there. Um, I did think I was going to use them behind the veneer, but I just think it looks messy. So I don't like messy, can't read it messy, not messy in a good way. So I'm just making sure of where I want the thread on both sides of that top of that photo strip and I'm going to glue it down. So I tried with the red behind the indigo and 
number one, I don't think I cut a big enough piece. And number two, I just, I really, I didn't think it added anything to the page. So I just got rid of it. I'm going to add all my veneer, add all my veneer shapes now. And my title, don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit and watch while I stick my title down. Just, I think the last and the first letter. Yep. Sticking down the rest of the veneer. I wanted to make sure I had that where it had the title where I wanted it before I stuck my veneer in the wrong place. Um, I've pulled out some cocoa vanilla wood buttons. And like I said, I wanted to just go with the colors. So I've got a yellow one and an orange one. And then I had these little epoxy hearts. And again, I'm just gonna put three in each color um, and just spread them around. A couple end up on the title. Come in with my journaling up the top here. And it just says something like, um, I would be lying if I thought this was a good idea from the very beginning. I was terrified, but Jacob absolutely loved it. And I've got to admit that when I heard his giggle, it was awesome. Down the bottom, I've written Daddy Games for the win, and I'm going to stamp the date. I stamp that in the gray underneath Daddy Games for the win. And then I end up stamping it up the top as well. I felt that that, that little gap just needed a little bit of filling in. Here's some close-ups so that you can see the beautiful shimmer and I really love that rainbow. Um, after looking at this page for a little while I decided I needed to stitch a border around the edge and I've got a spool of rainbow thread. Now it gave me a lot of hassle but it looks awesome. I absolutely love love that rainbow thread and I can't believe that it's sat in my stash for like three years and this is the first time I've used it. Um, but yeah, this is my take on the August challenge for Color Blast. So make sure you head over to the Facebook group to load up your challenge. It's to use one, one of three different products in any color. And the products were the color paste, the color spray, and the mica powders. Um, here's the last close up. Thank you as always for stopping by. Uh, and I shall be back again soon with another page. Have a fantastic scrappy day. Bye.